Welcome to Land a House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. Basically, water comes down a drive pipe, activates the waste valve, which sends water into the inline valve, builds pressure in the tank, and then sends water uphill. A lot of people have an issue where the pump will run for one or two minutes or an hour and then just stop. And it's kind of frustrating and you're not sure why it's doing that. The thing that is happening is either there is debris blocking the intake and the system's not getting enough of the water it needs, or air bubbles are getting into that source water, or here is the main thing that happens, back pressure loss. It's when you have too much head pressure feeding the pump and not enough lift in the delivery pipe going out. So essentially, when the pump cycles, it tries to send a lot of pressure into the tank. However, that pressure is being lost by sending too much water at once up the hill. So how do you reduce that issue? You either drop down the amount of head pressure going into the system, or you increase the amount of lift you have going out. And the third thing, which does work, but it's tricky, is adjusting the angle or the amount of delivery water that can go out of the pump. I'll show you that one, but it's really tricky. The two main things that I recommend is reducing the amount of head pressure going into the system or lifting the delivery out. So let me show you this issue real quick and then we will uh, show you how it's remedied as well. This is what a ram pump looks like under normal operation. There is sufficient head pressure to feed the pump to keep it going, and there is sufficient lift up the hill to maintain the back pressure in the pressure tank. And as you can see, the cycle of the valve is somewhere between half a second and one second, so it is a nice consistent rhythm. Let me go show you the output at the top of the hose. My source water is this bucket right here and it has a total head pressure of somewhere around six or seven feet down to where the pump is right there. And that is bringing water up this garden hose all the way to the top up here, which is somewhere around 15 to 20 feet of lift. This is the output of the ram pump up here at the very top of the hill. As you can see, it is quite consistent and it's a lot of water coming out. The pump is way down there. Now, if I start dragging this down the hill, it's going to stop the pump. Let's see if we can figure out at what point that happens. I'm gonna watch the ram pump as I drag this down the hill and see when it stops cycling. I just placed the delivery pipe on that gray bucket right there, which is only about three feet drop down from where it was previously. And now, if I cycle the pump, you will see that it never does start. So I will cycle it here a few times. The delivery pipe is full and it wants to cycle, but it won't. So sometimes what's gonna happen is you will have the delivery pipe at just the right height that it will cycle for a few minutes and then it'll stop. So I may not be able to see it from here. Well, I can see it in person that the water is coming out of that delivery pipe whenever I cycle this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Yeah. So I see it coming out up there, but the pump will not start because there's not enough pressure on that pipe up the hill. I lifted the delivery pipe a couple feet up to see if I can get this to cycle. Even though it's gonna be really close, it may not cycle and it may turn off the pump after a few times here. All right, I'm seeing output up top and it does seem to be cycling. So. There's about a one to two foot height difference between working and not working. Let me bring it down back to the two foot section and I'll show you uh, one trick that can be done to get this to work. One thing that makes this tricky is a lot of times you cannot see the end of your delivery pipe. And that means you'll just be pushing the valve forever and you never see why it's not working. And it's because water's coming out the top. However, it's, uh, you just keep pushing that valve over and over again. So you can see there's a lot of water coming out here, but if I drop this down a little bit, say from here to about here, it's likely to stop the pump. Yep, 
sure did. So you can see it's very tricky between right here and right there is where there's enough back pressure versus where there is not enough back pressure. But let me show you a little trick real quick. Pressing the valve right here means that a lot of water is coming out the top and it's not maintaining pressure in here like it needs to. So the trick you can do is slightly close the delivery pipe so that water is still coming out the top, yet there is back pressure against the pump. So it's real tricky as you can see. Sometimes you're open enough and sometimes not. So I can just slightly close that some more and get this to cycle. All right, I'm seeing a lot of water pouring out the top. So we're not quite there yet. All right, that might have done it. So as you can see, the valve is cycling, but the delivery pipe is about halfway closed right there. And let me zoom up here to the top. Oh, no, it just stopped. So not quite enough artificial back pressure. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get it to keep going here. It's real tricky because now the valve is more closed than open, but I am still seeing water coming out up here. Let's see if I can get up here and you can still see what's happening. All right, there you go. You can see the water coming out now on the spot where we had the bucket a little bit lower. Now, just to prove the point even further, let me open the delivery valve all the way up again and it should stop the pump. So as you can see, too much head pressure not enough back pressure on the pressure tank. Now in my specific setup here, it's a bit difficult to show you how sometimes the pump can run for 10 minutes or an hour or even half a day before it loses back pressure. There is a very fine line that a lot of people have their delivery pipe at and uh, it's kind of hard to show in this setup. But hopefully you see that what you want to do is either increase the height of your delivery pipe or drop the source. And a lot of times you'll have a specific source or a water intake that you want to keep. And so you'll bring the pump closer to that source in order to reduce the drop or the head pressure. So keep that in mind. Now with the delivery pipe going uphill as I've got it here, one of the things you can do is drive a stake in the ground and bring the water exit up to the top of that stake or even uh, drape the pipe into a tree to gain those extra couple of feet if you need that. So hopefully this helps you out if you have a pump that just stops on its own randomly. It's either debris over the intake, air getting into the drive pipe, or this issue, which is probably the most common, is back pressure loss in the pressure tank. So I have got four different sizes of Ram pump available at landahouse.com, Amazon, and eBay. Links for those in the description down below. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video.